question, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, uh, for yourself and the other speakers for later on, especially Teresa, a legal definition. I'm astounded at how the NWMO continued to um, um, misrepresent the whole DGR issue, calling it a settled science or best practices when there is no functioning DGR anywhere in the world mm -hmm. and the three prototypes have more or less failed, the one in the US and two in Germany. How do they get away with this misrepresentation to the world? I've been going to the public meetings here for the last couple of years. I've submitted at the NWMO question, I submitted that very question to them yeah. only for it not to be read because they censor it that way. So yeah. how, how does this continue to happen? And well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm baffled, please. Yeah. Well, in my view, uh, in my view, it's very similar to the tobacco industry denying that cigarette smoking causes disease, you know? Uh, if you're in an industry that is causing harm, you don't want to admit it's causing harm because then you're on the hook for it. And so you want to cover it up. And, and the industry is basically uh, saying, that, saying that there's a universal consensus among scientists that geological disposal is the best way to go what they should say is there's a consensus among nuclear scientists, not among all scientists, among nuclear scientists. And why is that? That's because all the nuclear scientists are in the same problem. They don't know what to do with this waste. And so they're all hanging together and saying, this is the best we can come up with. We can't think of anything else. But it all involves abandoning the waste. And abandoning the waste when you don't really know what's going to happen. I'll just tell you two scientists who spoke about this. One of them was a Nobel Prize winner, Swedish Nobel Prize winner in physics. His name is Hannes Alfven, and he worked in the nuclear uh, uh, program of Sweden for many years before coming to California. And he said, you cannot claim that a problem is solved just by pointing to all the efforts that have been made to solve it. And that's where we are with the DGR. It's not a solution, but they can't think of anything better if they want to abandon it. What we're saying in my organization is don't abandon it. You have an obligation to look after it. You have an obligation to let future generations know what we're leaving them and how to manage it best for their purposes. And they can improve. They're going to be smarter. They're going to have people who know more than we do. They're going to do a better job than we're doing. And maybe, look, this waste is only 85 years old, not even. Uh, maybe in 100 or 200 years, they will actually come up with a complete solution. They'll be able to neutralize it, render it harmless. Who knows? I have no idea. But in the meantime, we should not put it out of human control.